quite uh, quite dull. Let's have a look at the uh, default light intensity. I think we can bring this up. Oh, that's really okay. There we go. All right. So now our star lights are uh, functioning again. Okay. Cool. So I'm just gonna run through and collect a few stars, and then. Let's go into the next phase and try and shoot the other player and just see if those stars are... Okay, so they, they are faded out now. And then that just came back online. Okay, I feel like that faded out needs to be... even less. Uh, Wow, why is that? It feels like 10% should be enough, but... Huh, well, let's make it even less than that, shall we? See what happens. Phase one, collect stars and weapons. Cool. So I might need to uh, disable some of these effects just while we're doing our debug mode and streaming. I think it's causing my little MacBook to chug a little bit. Okay, so we've got six and four stars. Let's go into the next phase where we can shoot each other, and I'm just going to... Uh, in fact, I'm not going to use that one. Okay, so... Let's shoot the player with a missile, and we can see that those stars... fly off, okay. Let's shoot with another missile, should we? Smack. And you can pick those up again. Cool. All right. Uh, it does seem like this clock is no longer hiding correctly. So let's fix that. Oh yeah, before I forget, I'm going to just turn off our screen effects and actually turn off our light 2D on our stars because that that lighting uh, effect does actually have a bit of a cost to it. And uh, just allow my laptop to cool down a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot. We are missing our music. Okay, so let's figure out what's happening with these uh, controls, shall we? Okay, so on phaser on phase timer update, let's just make sure we are connecting this correctly. 
And I figured out I can actually, I've, I've just disabled the warnings because all of this is actually quite just a waste of uh, memory. So there's no need to assign those variables. It, it's just a warning to stop people from making a, a mistake. But I feel like this is such a common pattern to connect. Like I don't really need to check the, uh, the error state of these connections. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got our uh, clock container and our clock. Ah, I see what's happening. So, oh, clock container. No, that seems to be right. And on ready. Interesting. <clears throat> so on game state change phase shoot button dot disabled is false and in fact uh, here we should just do clock dot hide Okay, I think that should work. Cool, all right. So then the next thing I've uh, been meaning to fix is our inventory system. And uh, uh, here we go, error calling method from signal ammo connected. Uh, on. So our inventory, Emit signal ammo collected. Okay. So I'm just going to do a search. I'm not too sure who is interested in this uh, ammo collected event, to be honest. the audio manager on game state ammo collected player type. Method not found on game state audio. Aha. So I think we might have moved this. Huh. That's really weird. Um What have I changed here? Color rect. I think that's actually our inventory system. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's there. And one more thing I realize, uh, I th think we are setting the particle number. Uh, set amount. I wish these, these errors, uh, 
CPU particles. Okay, so CPU particles is going to be the collectible weapons. Call it ammo. Nope. Huh. What other particle effects do we have in the game? Camera definitely doesn't have any. The GUI doesn't have any. Uh, the jet engine is switched over. The player. Burning is switched over. Yeah, I thought the boxes. I had a look there and I'm not. Oh, I know why. It's not actually happening in the code, it's happening in an animation. I think that's what's happening. Okay, cool. So let's jump into our ammo scene and pick up our animation. And you know what? We don't need this light occluder anymore. And we could probably put a little bit more light around these weapons just while we're here. Otherwise, what's the point of having the light? Okay, so these are the two particle effects and I'm guessing one of these animations, I think it's the respawn. Yeah, here we go. So the respawn can't be less than zero. So if we put that to one, all right, so it goes from 20 and then it slowly like De decreases down to zero as it respawns. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm still using CPU particles uh, for the respawns just because I can't be bothered to reanimate them. <laughs> okay. So I also tried. Uh, a system where the turbo refills when you're not. I don't know if you can actually, because I know that you can convert the other way around. Um, it's like in here or something, right? So I'm pretty sure there's a way to convert GPU particles. Wait, I, I'll find out. So see, it's not there. It's up here, I think. No. Is it particles? Oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Let's let's have a look. That would save me a lot of time. No. Um, yeah, I, I don't know whether it's worth doing that. Probably is. I'll do it once uh, the first test's out. The alpha. Yeah, there's a downgrade path, but not an upgrade path. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Okay, so one thing uh, I changed recently was uh, we actually build overdrive uh, over time, even when you're not th uh, using your weapons. But I'm I, I'm not too sure I like that feeling. Uh, it's kind of weird as well because if you leave the game alone for a while and then you thrust, 
then it just doesn't 